I know it's a good cast. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. I'm so glad you're here. Today's episode of Huge Fly Fisherman is about dry dropper rigs. Yep, more trout fishing. So if you're ready to start, we will do that right now. First, what is a dry and dropper rig? Well, it's when you have two flies on your line at the same time. One fly is floating, that's the dry fly, and one fly sinks, that's the dropper. So why should you fish a dry dropper rig? Well, number one, fishing two flies doubles the chances of you catching a fish. I like those odds. Dry dropper rigs are mostly used for trout fishing. A dry dropper rig is a good searching rig. Like if nothing's hatching and you're not sure what the fish are eating, you can fish a dry and a nymph at the same time and get a feel for what's happening. They're good for small streams. I think the dry dropper rig really shines when you want to fish a nymph shallow, like less than three feet. If you're fishing shallow water and the fish won't rise, a dry dropper rig is a great way to show them a nymph. A full on nymph rig with a bobber, split shot, and a couple flies is way too clunky for shallow water. Water. A dry dropper rig allows you to fish nymphs with a little more stealth without beating the water to death and scaring the fish. Oh my god, a bobber! Shallow nymphing, that's where it's at for me with dry dropper rigs. If your dry dropper rig is more than about three feet long, things are gonna get weird when you're casting and fishing it, and you're better off just fishing a nymph rig. Even a euro nymphing rig is fine if you wanna be a super nerdy nerd. You'll probably catch fish though. So how do you rig and fish the dry dropper rig? For the actual tying of the knots, watch this video right here that I made about tying different dropper rigs. Maybe the most important thing about a dry dropper rig is that you need a floaty dry fly. A size 18 parachute Adams is not an appropriate dry fly for this kind of rig. Maybe it's okay if you're fishing a zebra midge for a dropper, but you know midges are lame, right? Something like a stimulator or hopper is a much better dry fly for the dry dropper rig. You're probably fishing a beadhead nymph, which is good because your fly needs to sink, and the dry fly has to float well enough to support the nymph. If you want to fish a really sinky nymph, you need to fish a really floaty dry. If you want to learn how to tie a simple, easy dropper fly, check out this video by our good friend James from About Trout. He's hilarious. You want to fish a dry dropper rig like a mini nymph rig. If the dry fly gets pulled under, set the hook because the fish probably ate your fly. Or the fish might eat the dry fly. Hopefully you'll see that and set the hook accordingly. Not everyone sees that. You get an extra bonus when a fish eats your dry fly, comes unhooked, then gets flossed by the tippet and gets hooked on the dropper. You can just pretend you didn't actually lose the fish and it really just ate your dropper. I've never done that, I swear. Maybe the best part of the dry dropper rig is when you hook a fish on the dry and land it. Yeah, it's cool that the fish ate the dry fly, but the best part is when you're unhooking the fish and that dropper is flopping around, getting tangled around the fish, getting hooked in the net, and hooking your fingers too. Trust me, it's awesome. It'll make you want to fish just a dry fly, like a real fly fisherman does. So that's the basics of the dry dropper rig. Go out and give it a shot and learn what it's all about. Thanks for watching another one of my huge fly fisherman videos. If you want to help support the channel, I'd consider it a personal favor if you subscribe and maybe like this video. Or it would be even cooler if you go to hugeflyfisherman.com and buy some stuff. I got stickers and koozies and hats and shirts and hoodies and all kinds of stuff like that. Go out there and try to catch two fish at the same time on your dry dropper rig and stay huge. All right, get on the oars. Hitting it one thing at a time, you're so needy. You know, I could do it better, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>